wondering what in the heck is going on, I'm James Corpus back on one of these video logs and today, today, I am going to install the uh, the eBay spoiler for the 2002 to 2006 Honda CRV. It's pretty easy, but same time it gets kind of um, well, how I would say uh, um, it gets some curveballs in there. You would need to watch this video because that gets you to the point where I'm already done. So if you watch this video, shout out to the guy who created a video that doesn't need a, a template. So once you watch that, you're you're gonna be caught up to where I am at. So I've already drilled the holes and I'm up to the point where I need to run the power hole and get it into here. So uh, let me um, put everything back real quick. All right, hold on. Boom. All right, so this and this needs to come off. But first, you're gonna need some uh, tools and what you'll need. You're, pro you're gonna need, to do CRV, you'll probably need a, a ladder or a step so that way you could work on the top. Uh, you'll need a vacuum. If you live at home and you, you're doing it in your dad's or your, uh, your parents' garage, uh, you're gonna have to clean up after yourself, okay? Because uh, you're gonna create a lot of metal shavings because you are going to have to drill into the door. All right, um, so you'll need a vacuum. If you watch that video, there's the, uh, the the cards with tape. You'll need a tape, a duct tape, whatever masking tape. You'll need a splicing for the wire. You'll probably need a number 10 wrench, number 10 socket. You'll need paint. You need one of these. This is a deburring tool. Don't sleep on this. Punch step hole thingamajigs a drill this one has a little more control if you got that you'll be able to do this job i'm at the point where i need to run the hole here for the power we know that the hole is here uh, i already used these to make the holes so like i said if you need to watch that video shout out to the gentleman that gave that free information for us and um, i'm just uh you know trying it along so i need to make a hole tape so that's where the hole is at for the wire so that way when i transfer this it's gonna make sense for these so you're gonna have to put these in here uh, i recommend putting some thread locker you got some thread locker so that way um these are not moving while you're driving but i'm just gonna put this for now so that way it'll All right, hands height. You guys probably will need a screwdriver and bolt that in. But we will need, like I said, you'll need a step ladder. That there. That there. That there. All right, so we got the holes to match in there. Then we just need to transfer, like I said, if you watch that video. You need to push this down with some tape. Push this down on the other side with tape. And we'll be able to find where the hole is at. As you can see, uh, I just taped that side and this side. So that transfers the hole for the electrical wire to run it inside it'll all make sense once i start drilling the holes in there okay really simple i'll try to do this with one hand all right just uh there's this thing here all you gotta do is uh pull just gently or just keep pulling you could pull it by hand once it's at this point there's just this clip there's this clip, this clip, this clip, and this just pulls straight out. See that? That inside there. This needs to come off. Push this tab here, and there's a tab here. You could put that, push those at the same time. We'll try to do one hand. And uh, yeah. we're gonna have to splice into the white one and the black one. Since we transferred that information, which is the hole for our power wire to go through here down this area to splice it to the brake um we're going to gently remove the spoiler that side and there it is now all we gotta do 
this drill hole there so that way our wire can go through. You guys are following. There's the hole and then we get our uh, puncher. This tool creates indentions. It leaves a mark. Uh, two, three. So if we take our tape off, this is where we need to, you can see a little small thing. That's where we need to drill. And this needs to come off too. And you're probably wondering how does this need to come off? It's literally, you just got to turn. And then um, it looks like it's a thread. It's threaded and uh, that rubber piece, once it goes all the way out, it just pulls off. Pretty neat. Pretty good, Honda. We just line it up so that way our, our bit doesn't go crazy. Boom. I don't know if you guys can see that, but here we go. Oof. Alright, now what we have to do is on this, we want to get it, what is it, 3 16th, the very first one. So we want to match it so we can basically step it up and match the hole and stop on the very first one. And that's it. Then uh, we want to, obviously, we want to divert it. Do all four of them. All right, so all those holes are now clean. Okay, so if you are wondering uh, what size holes this need to be, uh, it needed to be uh, around five sixteenths. This hole needed to be bigger, just because um, <clears throat> you would need to use this bigger one and hit it from the inside. And the only reason why you had to do that is because the bolt or the nut needed to come all the way in. That was like the challenging. So this doesn't need to be that big. This needs to be bigger. Just so that way, and it needs room to play because it's an eBay spoiler, but you know, we're trying to make stuff fit here. So at this point, um, I could paint these holes. We don't create any rust issues. This is the touch-up paint that I um, that I had when I was um, basically uh, when I was touching up the, the the CRV in the hood. There was like a bunch of marks. Fill it in with paint so that way it doesn't rust. Okay, other side. Top part. Hey, I was just uh, putting some thread locker, the blue one. I think that's better than nothing, but uh, get this started so that way we get a uh, while that paint is drying. Secure this a little more. Let's take this off. That's it. So that's the hole that we just drilled for the wire. The wire needs to go in there and then somehow wrap it in through here and come out to here. Keep fishing it and boom, we'll be on this side and we'll tap into there. So that's the hole that we just drilled for the wire. The wire needs to go in there and then somehow wrap it in through here and come out to here. We'll like keep fishing it and boom, we'll be on this side and we'll tap into there. There's the wire here. Uh, what I did was I feed the wire through first, like this, right? Then put, feed the wire through the grommet. Now I'm gonna shove the grommet inside there. It's really snug, so uh, I need to do that. And I need both my hands, so bear with me. You have to get like a tool 
and start shoving it in there all the way around. I mean, you don't really need to do that, but I'm kind of weird. I want things done a particular way. And um, you're gonna have to forgive me for that. So uh, the, I shoved the wire in here, so I should, I should be able to pull um, as much as I need. So these holes are now uh, matching up. We got the wire through, and we want to feed the wire inside here. And boom! Now we're in this general area. We can basically wrap it this way, tuck it behind there, and then somehow splice it there. All right. So the wire is there. Like this fitment is, is once you tighten this down, the bolt, it kind of comes down a little more. But this is how it's gonna look. All right, so let me bolt it down now. A ratchet or a wrench. And it's a, a 10, 10 metric. We'll start with one. Uh, I figured that you want to probably want to do the ends first and get that all the way as snug as you can um, before you start doing the inside. Uh, reason being is because then you have a little more play when you're like pushing the the top part. When you're pushing this top part, you're able to flex it and kind of see where it's, um, it gives you like a little more, uh, you gotta finesse it though. So. better way is like doing all four of them slowly. Funny thing is that I have to pull all this back out so can maybe um, get it painted. Just wanna see it. I just wanna see it uh, done. Um, that's how it is going to look. I don't wanna tighten it anymore. That's bolted down, but that's how the fitment is. It's kind of, it's kind of janky, to tell you the truth. But I'm, I'm gonna maybe pull it all back out just because um, I want to get it painted. Maybe the silver. All right, so we'll just tap into this. Maybe just. Uh... <laughs> So I end up, uh, if you could see that, um, splicing it this way because uh, those are trash. These Harbor Freight um, things, they don't, they don't penetrate the, the outer sheath good enough. So these could go right. So if I close this, put this down, and if I hit the brake, it should work. Okay, I changed the orientation. Um, I guess the white cable is negative and the one with the stripe is um, needs to go into the yellow. So that should be hot. So yeah, this little white one is negative. So it should work now. Jesus Christ. So turn the brake on. That should light up. All right, that is it. Um, I am going to use another day to vlog me painting this so that way um, it'll be the same color as this. But it does look good black in my opinion, but I don't know. I think it looks better if it was all one solid color. Tell me what you guys think. If you guys want me to do it, uh, anything specific to the, uh, to the serve, to my serve gang, um, yeah, we're gonna 
continue on. So um, thanks for watching. Till the next video, I'm gonna put this cover back on and clean all this up. And I hope you guys have a wonderful day.